Hi guys, welcome to the last Swiss knife tutorial, in which we will learn what functions support group consists of. Here we gathered all functions we really consider useful, but we can't combine them with other sections. Some of them really small, some of them are big and complex, but all of them are probably handy. So let's start from reorder. It reorders layers. Just select them and click reorder. So that it's web the order of the layers. And it works in any order you select layers. As usual, reorder has additional function with Alt key, so that it will change the layer order randomly. Another little function is Baker. It converts expressions to keyframes, but it works in a little different way from default After Effects function. So as you can see, it doesn't create a keyframes on each frame. It puts them only where it is really necessary, so that your timeline is not overloaded with unnecessary keys and it is also useful in cases when we work with animation which then will be exported to JavaScript. Less keys, less file size. This button also allows you to remove expressions. Just select layers or properties you want the expressions to be removed from and click the Baker holding Alt key. So if layers are selected, Baker bakes or removes all expressions on those layers. If property is selected, it does it only with selected properties. The next function is Tangents. Let's be honest, arcs are essential part of animation. How often do you try to make a perfect arc move? With Tangents function, it is a piece of a cake. Select two keys of special property, such as position or point controller, and press Tangents, so that you will get the perfect arc movement. Do you need an arc that look upwards? Just click on Tangents holding Alt key. And to remove all tangents, just click on this button with Ctrl key. And this button can also solve one more big motion designer's pain. You know, sometimes when we have two keys of the, with the same value and some kind of arc movement around it, this kind of problem occurs. It's because an, of an extra tangent on the motion path. So in these cases, click on tangents holding Shift key. And the problem will go away. Now let's get closer to more complex functions. Resizer. Click on Resizer and you will see its menu. But don't panic, it's quite simple. It's just resize the selected items. So here you need to type future width and height. If you leave one field empty, this dimension will be automatically adjusted to fit the image proportions. So for example, I will choose several footages and give them a specified size. Click Resize, and for the rest images I will make with 150, and the height field I will leave empty. And as you can see, it saved image proportions. So that Resizer plays the selected items to the compositions of the specified sizes. Moreover, each precompose has its own controllers, with the help of which you can correct the image position in. I would say that Resizer is an advanced precomposer, because besides image size, you can choose other composition properties, such as pixel aspect, duration, or even select one of standard presets. Let's test it with another image. So here I want uh, the size of 200. Change the frame rate to 15. And duration 5 frames and click Resize. So that now I have my image placed inside composition of specified size and with frame rate of 15. So that's how it works. The next tool is Slicer. Like Resizer, it also has its own menu. Slicer has two modes, Grid and Cells. In Grid mode, Slicer divides footages into grid with specified number of rows and columns. So that, as you can see, it divides footage into pieces of same size. But you can also set the randomness for column width and rows height with threshold slider. In cells mode, Swiss knife divides footages on specified number of random sized pieces. A 
And by checking this option, Slicer will put each piece to separate precompose with controller with the help of which you can adjust the positioning of the footage. It can be very useful in some cases. One more cool thing about Slicer is that you can also create animation for sliced composition. For that, just make Alt-click on Slicer. So here we have several groups of settings. Random Seed and Randomness are responsible for randomness of the transformations created within Random Group, in which you can make random transformation for slices. In Offset Group you can set up the offsets for slices properties and even the time offset for their animation. And the naming group works like Wiggle Transform in Shape Layer. It creates random property changes with specified amplitude and frequency. And it looks pretty nice. Well, I will create a simple animation example. I will divide my footage into 10 pieces in cells mode. Convert all layers to 3D. And I will go to my animation controller, in which I will create some position offset and offset group. Let's make the footage fly into the frame. So I will change its Z position, like this. I will also add some position randomness in random group. And of course, don't forget to increase the value of randomness slider. Well, better, but still not good enough. I want these pieces to fly in one by one, so I will increase the time offset parameter in offset group. And that's it! But I think that it is also will be cool to add some subtle motion with dynamic group. Well, that looks good, besides it was done very fast. The last function is Swapper. Swapper allows you to change source of footages in very fast and flexible way. Just select the item in the project panel and the layer on the timeline that you want to swap and click Swapper, so that it will replace source. New source will be resized to fit original's bigger dimension. By Alt-click you will replace source with original footage size precompose and of course with controllers with the help of which you can adjust the positioning of footage. With Shift-click you will get original footage as alpha made layer for a new footage. Swapper also works with precomposes. If you try to swap composition by simple click on Swapper, you will replace source of first top audio video layer in the composition. By alt click, you will replace source of last layer inside composition. And if you click on Swapper with Ctrl on Windows or Command on Mac, you can take new sources right from your computer. And of course, you can use Swapper for several layers at once. So, Swapper can be a really good alternative for default replacing footage methods. And that's all for now. We tried our best to make really versatile and useful script. So thank you for watching our basic tutorials. Stay tuned and we will post more tutorials in which we will be considering different techniques of combining Swiss knife functions. So see you soon guys!